In these videos, I'm going to show you how you can set up your own Help Center using Help Center Live. So the first thing you're going to want to do is install it. So if you just go to helpcenterlive.com, you'll see this screen here. Now this has a lot of neat functions that you can set up different departments and different users, and it also has logs of your conversations in there. You can go look at the screenshots to have a better look at all the functions that it has. For instance, this is the Contact Us page that comes up. And then you can go through and you can click on these and see that the different things that it does. Okay, to install it, we're going to go to our cPanel. And then we're going to go down to Fantastico Deluxe. Okay, now once you're here, look down the left-hand side and you'll see Help Center Live under Customer Relationship. Click on that. Okay, and then click on New Installation. Okay, now we're going to install it in, on our domain. So I'm going to install it in a directory called Help Desk. Okay, so next we need to put in how we want to log in. So your admin name and your password. Don't use admin for your login because that is something that every hacker is going to try and exploit your site with. So use something else here. Okay, I'm going to use password, but use a strong password here. And then the admin email address that you want to use here. Okay, and first name of the admin. And then the last name. And then our company name here. So let's uh, go on my test. We're going to install Help Center now and finish installation. Okay, so now we can log in right here. If we click on this, we can log right into admin and we just use our credentials that we just put in there. Okay, and then you get some instructions when you first come in here about changing your password. Now, you don't really need to do that because we came in through the cPanel, but let's just go through the exercise. So we click System Configuration, Operators, and then we edit our default user, and then fill out your information and click Edit at the bottom of the form. That's how you change it, and then you need to set up a department. So up here, System Configuration, and then we go to Operators, Okay, now you see here that we are not admin because we chose a different name here. But let's go in and edit it. This is the exercise you would go through if you wanted to change it. If you want a picture, you can bring it in right here and just browse for it on your computer. Okay, then let's go to departments. And you can set up as many departments here as you want. But let's add one. So we're going to call it General Support, whether it's visible. And then you can, when you have your departments, you can give them different numbers so that they fall in a certain order. Okay, so let's make this zero. That's the highest priority. Now, email. We need to use an email off of our server. And then we need to put in the proper credentials in here. So if we go back to our cPanel, and then go to mail accounts. Okay, so let's set up a new one here. Let's call it help desk. Let's give it a password here. You can use uh, the password manager or you can use your own passwords here. And then the quota. Okay, let's create the account. Okay, so we've created it. Now we need to find it in our list. And then over on the right side here, you'll see more. Go to Configure Email Client. Okay, and so here is our information. So this is our username. Let's copy this. And that goes in here. 
Okay, and then our email address up here. Now make sure we need to change that to an at there. Okay, our SMTP host name. So it's the outgoing mail server. Okay, SMTP port is 25. In my case, you have to look on your setup there. And SMTP password, it, it, that is the password you just use for your email account. So put that in there. Okay, and now we can add the department. Okay, and now we need to go over to assignments. Okay, so we have to assign ourselves to this department here. And over here are the priorities. So if we have multiple people assigned to the department, we can have the priority set over here. Okay, transcripts. There's nothing in here, but this is where our transcripts would appear. Icons. These are the icons that it uses by default. So our online icon and our offline icon. This is for default. And then for general support, these are our general support icons. So if you have an icon built or you create one, you don't want to use the ones that are included, you can upload them from your computer and submit here. And that is going to change the icons for you. Okay, now we have hot pages. These are the ones where we're getting the most uh, requests from. Our statistics are here. Of course, we have nothing in here yet and hot pages we have nothing in here yet and our modules you can get modules from the main site if they have any modules or somebody's made some you'll see them in here and at this point our basic setup is done in the next video we're going to go into website integration and just do a demo of how it works